Hi everyone and welcome to the first video in our series on caching. In today's video we will be discussing the fundamental concepts of caching. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is caching? Caching is a technique used to store frequently accessed data in a location that allows fast retrieval of that data. And the data that we are caching or storing is generally a subset of data. Now depending on the use case and the problem statement we may or may not choose to store the full data set but in most of the cases we generally do not store the full data set it's only a subset of that data and this storage is often transient in nature that means the data or the subset of data that we are storing for fast retrieval is not a persistent store or a permanent storage it's transient it's a temporary data store so in short we can say that caching some data is like a shortcut to the information so that we don't have to go all the way back to the original source every time when we need that data set. Suppose on the left hand side we have a client and this client doesn't have to be a typical client it could be anything any entity that needs some data and on the right hand side we have a source again this could be anything that has that data so it could be a database it could be the ram it could be the disk. So generally what happens when a client or any entity that needs the data it identifies the source or the location where the data is available then using any mechanism it could be a request response model or anything it does not matter for this discussion. So in order to get that data it places a request it reaches out to the original source that hey I need this data and the source returns the data as a response and now the client has this data and let's say the client needs the same data in that case it has to perform the same set of actions that is step number one to ask for the data set and step number two to store or to receive that data from the source and this is when we don't have the intermediate storage of caching but now if we introduce the caching between client and source we can see the same request can be intercepted by the cache the cache can serve the request it can return the same data set that was earlier sent by the source back to the client so in this case the caching layer has a subset of data that is primarily owned by the source and so the client does not have to go back to the source for the same set of data. So to iterate the same things in different words caching is a technique to temporarily store the frequently accessed data. Let's see why is caching important in modern applications. So let me ask you a question have you ever encountered issues with slow response times or excessive resource consumption in your applications. Suppose we are trying to access a website or an application and every time when we place a request to fetch some data it has to be fetched directly from the server and because every time it has to reach the server and server has to perform the same set of actions this process can introduce latency causing delays in loading times and it also increases the load on the server because server has to do the same work again and again or let's say you need to read the same information from the database repeatedly which means triggering the same query again and again over a period of time and we know that databases can be slow oftentimes right which means if we are reading the same data from the database again and again we will see some slowness that is for sure or let's say the application is doing some costly computations it could be a factorial of a number or a processing of an image or anything that is resource intensive so for example factorial of a number which is not going to change for a number but if we have to calculate it every time when a client asks for a factorial of the same number that means we are doing the same computation again and again. So as you can guess it's all about the latency and the throughput. It's all about how much can we process and how quickly without delays and that's where caching comes into the picture it can help to mitigate such problems. Let's see what do we mean by that. Here in this example we have the same client and the same source and we don't have the caching and now client needs some data. So client is reaching out to the source which will take some time t1 because the request has to travel over the network. Once the source accepts the request it knows it has to return some data and so it has to fetch that data. Let's say if this is the database it will execute the query if this is some code it will do that computation. The bottom line is it will prepare the data that the client is interested in which will take some time t2 and finally when the source returns the data it will take some time t3 while it reaches to the client. So the overall time taken in this process is t1 plus t2 plus t3 and if the client needs the same data set everything will be repeated again and it will again take some time t1 plus t2 plus t3. Now let's see how introducing a caching can improve the latency and how it can reduce the time taken. 
here in this example we have the intermediate caching in this case when the client needs some data it will check the cache first if the cache has that data set notice it doesn't have to go to the source that means it will save some time here from client to the source and on top of that source does not have to perform the same set of operations in order to prepare the data set that means it will save some time here as well so if the data is present in the cache layer the cache can return the same data set and the effective time taken in this case is simply t1 plus t2 which is lesser than the earlier time which was t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so by using a cache we can reduce the load on the source which could be the database server or an application server and simultaneously we can serve the clients faster so we are not only improving the latency but we are also improving the throughput of the system so caching allows us to store a copy of frequently used data closer to the point of access closer to the client which significantly reduces the time it takes to retrieve that data and it not only improves the response times but also optimizes the resource utilization of servers making the applications more efficient